Hey there guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new video of 7 Days to Die. This is going to be a new Let's Play. We are going to do something a little bit different. And basically, I'm going to sort of follow the challenge of some major YouTubers. So we're going to be following Cage848, Capo, and Glock9, I believe, that's already playing this um, uh, challenge here. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to be uh, staying in a shopping complex, okay? I've got two that I've set ourselves up with, and we're going to be um, staying in those. Basically, the idea is it's going to be self-containment. Um, so nothing in regards to what's happening out there in the world at the moment in real life, but we are staying in the uh, confinement of the um, shopping center. So what that means is I'm not going to be able to go out of that uh, vicinity once I walk in. So right now I have to do the basic quests here and get all everything all set up and underway, but what we we'll be doing is finishing this part off and then from there we're going to have to make our way whoop, over into the complex and once I'm in I can't get out and that's basically the basis of this here so um, just a quick couple of things that I've done just so you guys are aware of what how this is sort of going to work out um, I have actually turned up uh, my loot abundance up to 150 uh, difficulty is on the adventurer, so it's on the default, so I usually play in Nomad just to give you guys a bit of an idea. And uh, right now, um, we have the day set to 90 minutes, which is standard, but also uh, the loot respawn time is set for 10 days. So every 10 days, whatever I loot on day 1, hopefully by day 11 or day 10, whatever it might be, um, it'll respawn and I'll have the ability to go back and reloot um, everything. So basically that's where that is at. But um, the next thing we want to do is craft a stone axe. So this is going to be a bit, of, a bit of a challenge as well. So what I mean by that is essentially that you don't have the traders. There's not going to be any traders in the vicinity, which is going to be a, um, an interesting scenario. So I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't know how I'm going to survive, but it's all about being self-sustainable, uh, sustained, I guess. And that's going to be the biggest challenge. And I'm sure the other guys will have um, that as a, as a major issue as it, as it is anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to try and get some wood chopped down as well before we head in. I want to head in as soon as possible so we can actually have a um, a check out of the area and see exactly where we're sort of going to you know camp out for the first night as well as you can see there is a few zombies floating about but they're not going to be as difficult as they normally would be but um, the biggest challenge that I find is is going to be food food is going to be the biggest thing for me um, so hopefully we're going to have a lot of food and loot drops in that respect there but also um, what I'm going to do in future. I mean, it's all well and good to get food in the first couple of days, but where does that leave you thereafter? So what I'm thinking at the moment is going to be farming. Farming is probably going to be huge in this. So I really want to try and set up um, farm plots and things like that. And I'm hoping to find some seeds when I'm in there. So um, if I do end up finding all of that fantastic, th so I can start getting a bit of a, a food production, I'm going to have to probably do my best and uh, ration my food as well at the same time so that's going to be a really major concern for me and hopefully um, once um, you know I find a, a bit of a, a, a sustaining model that I can work from you know I can sort of whoop, already broken um, I can basically you know continue on and you know um, progress through the series and hopefully we'll make it to day seven and <laughs> Um, and we will be doing horde nights on on these um, on the regular basis as well. So that has not changed either. So it's all about how can we survive ourselves um, and what we're going to do to survive. So yeah, um, all these things, all these things that I'm thinking about and doing and how I'm going to do it, I have absolutely no idea um, exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be learning as I go. So. Yeah, as you can imagine, it's going to be a bit of a difficult, um, you know, situation that we're going to be involved in. So, let's get the bow and the arrow sorted out. And I think we've got to do some wood frames, which will be the next one. There we go. 
and then I'm gonna have to go ahead and upgrade him. Whoop. Uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and pluck you there and upgrade you. Perfect. Let's do the campfire. And let's go ahead and drop that in. Perfect. And my other biggest. Imp Oop, there we go. We are okay, ready to go. Now, this is going to give us coordinates to a trader and all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to be worrying about a trader, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, nor that I'm going to be worried about this at all. But uh, my biggest concern is um, wood at the moment as a basic fundamental. And what I'm really hoping on is I'm going to be trying to get a couple of seeds before I get into the place. Because if I don't get seeds, um, I feel like I'm going to be limiting my um, ability to... I hear someone. Um, yeah, harvest wood. So that's where I'm at with that. And I'm hoping by getting a little bit of wood to begin with, at least this way, I'll sort of, you know, um, stand a bit of a fighting chance, I guess. Oop. I hear you. I don't know where you are. There's a, there's a doe there. I honestly don't know where you are. Oh, okay. There you are. Hey, buddy. Okay, so um, we'll see how we go with the difficulty as well as we sort of, um, you know, start to loot things and whatnot. But um, once I sort of get to a bit of a, a self self sustainment there, I think I should be okay. I'd like to think. And as we sort of make our way, I'm just going to grab a few bits and pieces in here. Ooh, I think I want to grab one of this. Hopefully, I'll get some honey out of this. And if I do, I'll be lucky because, especially if I get infection, um, I'm not going to be able to have the ability to rely on the um, on honey or anything like that from out here because I won't actually have that. So um, let's go ahead and just grab this, and I think that will be more than enough. But as soon as I walk into this place, um, that's it. I cannot leave. So yeah, that's going to happen. And I should be right with things like stone and things like that. I'm going to, um, you know, invest in a mine and dig underground and things like that. So there, there are a few things that I'm thinking about as well as we sort of get into it. And um, from there, look, it's all about how well we can survive. Um, I know there's a lot of cars in the um, in the complexes. So for referencing, we have what we call the HMN uh, Mall, I believe it is. And we've also got the um, Eden Mall. So they're the two malls that we've got side by side to each other. And um, yeah, so as soon as we um, enter the complex here, I won't be able to get out. Now, this is the Eden Mall. And we've got the other one on the other side here. So I'm gonna have to sort of make my way around somehow. Um, and we'll sort of get into it. Let's just quickly grab him as we're here. And hopefully I might get some honey. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But I think I've noticed ever since, um, yeah, I don't think it is the case anymore. Ever since 18.3 um, update, um, I haven't been able to get any sort of honey, which is annoying. But anyway, this is it. So now I officially can't leave the complex. All these boulders and things like that here, they're in the complex vicinity. And I'm basing this on the edge here. Okay. Awesome. And from here, I think I want to go into the HMN, HNM Mall um, to begin with, because I think this is probably the bigger one than the Eden Mall here. There is a few things that you can do in the Eden, but I'm not going to sort of go through that with you guys today. But um, pretty much this is what we're going to have to deal with. And we'll um, start taking out a few uh, zombies here and there, just so we can sort of get ourselves... Uh, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Take you out. Come on, lady. Oop, I'm out of stamina. Oh my god, this is this is going to be bad. And then basically, um, I'm going to have to sort of look after my, my perks as well, like what type of points I'm going to drop into, certain attributes and things like that. Um, I'm still not too sure exactly what I want to do just yet. Um, but yeah, that's all these things I'm sort of thinking about. Oh my god, that's actually good. Um, all right, I'm going to grab that, you know what, I'm going to loot the lot, and from what my understanding is, as well, 
Um, if you... Oh, let's just deal with him real quick. So if you loot something, and then if you walk away from it, and then you come back to it, if you've looted everything, it resets the counter. So from day one, and then you go back into like a 20 block proximity of where you've looted from, it's going to reset the time up. So to mitigate that, what I've been um, what I've been researching on is that you can physically leave a item in these th um, in these lootable areas, and once you've done that, this will allow you to um, ooh, definitely grab that. Uh, what's this? Is this sand? I don't know if that's sand. Anyway, I'm not going to bother with this right now. Um, aloe vera, that's not going to be too bad. All right. So there's a few good things here. I don't know what this is. That's just wood. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you leave something in here, this will allow you to um, w go s as so close to it without it, any worries or anything like that, but also um, it won't reset the counter, um, which is awesome. So I'm going to end up doing that, but obviously I'm not going to do that with every single thing I'm going to do with you guys today while I've got you here. So um, I'll probably end up doing this like off camera. So that's my... Um, my thought process with that so hopefully it'll work out and in between cuts and everything like that i should be able to you know retrace my steps go back to where i was and then more or less um get all these things ready for um uh what do you call it for reloading in the next 10 days so that's basically where i'm at with that so all right i should have enough for a bone sh bone shivy which is this fella here and at least I can sort of use this now and hopefully get a, harvest a little bit more bones with this moving forward. So yeah, so this is going to require a lot of, um, you know, uh, careful and strategic uh, measures, what you end up doing with um, your player inside, the, uh, once you're inside. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, all right, so let's get our lady here and let's take her out. All right, come on, nurse. There we go. All right, let's take, open up this. All right, so yeah, so the things that you would normally either, you know, throw out or scrap and things like that, we're gonna have to hold on to them um, until we sort of get a bit of a um, bit of a system, a bit of a process happening at the same time. And once we've sort of worked out that, then we can, uh, you know, sort of afford to do certain things and all that sort of stuff here and there. So that is what I am most concerned about right now, but at the moment, getting bones at, at the beginning is really good. I mean, if I find a lot of um, uh, bottles of water, like murky water, things like that, at least I know I can make uh, things like glue. So the brass and all that sort of stuff, I probably want to um, hold on to as well at the same time. Um, but yeah, what I want to do now is trying to find a entrance to get into this place. I know I haven't opened up a lot of things, but I just want to find a few things here and there um, that we can, you know, sort of utilize. But what I want to do right now is we should have our four points. The first point I'm dropping in is Lucky Looter, without uh, without a doubt. That's the very first thing I want to do right now. And this would ensure um, I'll have maximum um, looting ability off the bat. And if I, can, if I can find some decent tools at the beginning, like a fire axe, a pickaxe, things like that. I've got some aloe vera there. Um, we should be okay, hopefully, um, you know, and the, the sooner I start making things like the forge and all that sort of good stuff, um, the, the better. So as we're sort of going around, okay, so that's a jammed box, so I should be able to open that, that, yes, okay. And hopefully that doesn't break, I'm not too sure, but it looks like it's breaking, I don't know, I don't know. Well, there's nothing in that storage box, okay. Uh, does this work? Ah, oh, it doesn't work. Alright, so we've got a bit of sand. That's cool. Um, ooh. Yes. Um, yes. Let's take these mushrooms. Oh, this is good. So this is good to begin with. So these are the type of things I've got to look at. I've got to find things. I've got to find seeds. I've got to find, you know, I've got to find this. I've got to find that. Um, and I've got to find a way that I can sort of, you know, get in here. Oof. Okay. This is going to be... I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to get in here, actually. Ooh. Damn. 
Oh my god, these are all 5,000 blocks. Um, okay, so that's not going to happen. So right now we got to sort of work our way in. And I'm waking up zombies everywhere. Oh no, you're, you're outside. What are you doing? Yeah, all right. Look, you know what? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leave you guys alone. Ooh, there's a shamway. Oh, okay. Um, well, it turns out I'm not gonna leave you guys alone because you guys have already made your way in. Unfortunately, let's just go ahead and deal with you. And, that, and that's what's gonna happen as well. You know? Whoop, oh no! 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 Honestly, honestly, already. Um, oh god, I didn't want to use that right away. Oh, I was being really careless there. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, anyway, Shamway. I see that there, so I think it might be a good thing to go in there straight away um, and see if we can get some food. And hopefully, um, you know, we don't sort of run out of supplies at the, uh, you know at, right at the start. But I'm happy I found those mushrooms. Um, so that tells me that there's going to be some seedlings. Um, oh, okay, Hunter's knife. Well, that's good. Actually, what do you need to do to make the hunter's knife? Oops. Um, Alright, so you need a bit of forge iron. I can nearly make that, to be honest with you, but... But, they, but this is the thing. you got to sort of, um, you know, work out... Do you want to invest in that straight away? See, water was, was a good pickup. I'm hoping I can find some water supplies as well, so I can at least get some work of water. That will come in handy. And um, eventually, I'm going to need to make a drop chest as well. Um, but also, going back to it, um, you're going to get zombies coming in from the outside to try and hassle with you guys. So, um, that's 2,000. I don't know if I can get in like that right away. Um, there's a car park. Maybe I can go down there. And we might, you know, sort of insert our way in, into the building here. Um, oh, maybe there's... Let's have a look over here. That? Is that a box? Oh, okay. Ooh, cool bandages. Actually, I didn't even think about doing that. Let's um, go ahead and do that now. Now, I'm already encumbered, so this is really not a good start for me right now. Um, but, okay, cool. Easy entrance into the Shamway Foods. I do hear zombies, so I'm going to have to sort of play it smart. Um, what does a spear do? I should maybe invest in one of these things as well, just in case. Uh, right, let's put that onto the hotbar there. Now, it's been a while since I've, I've used the spear, so I'm hoping using this at the beginning, distance-wise, it's actually going to help me out. Ooh. All right, well, so we've got the big business boy here. All right. So, all right. I just want to deal with you real quickly. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Alright, there we go. Um, Alright, so we've got more cloths and more bandages. Hooray, that's good. Um, these are all locked. So I don't know if I w whether or not I should use the sham foods as base of operations. So w what I'm thinking as well is I might make like a little, um, like a little hut or something like that just so I can you know, stay out of people's way before, you know, when the night goes down kind of thing. So, at least we know the Shamway's there, so that's a really good start. Maybe I could hang out up here. This might be a good option. I don't know. Um, you know, there's a few good things here. Oh, there's some mushrooms, so let's, um, let's take that. Oh, is that potato? That is potato. Snowberries? Okay. You know what? This might actually be a good place to actually start staying. Um, okay. Oop. Okay, so that's 3,000, so that's going to take me a while to get in. And even, you know, holding on to things like glass as well is going to be critical. Um, you know, obviously you want to ha harvest up all of these eventually. Um, actually, what we might do, let's make a ladder of all things. And... And then hopefully um, I might be able to get myself up there, see what's actually up there. So let's do that. Oh no, did I just stuff that up? I did. Lovely. 
Um, all right, so let's just break this thing down. I'm pretty sure you can use. Oh, well, can you? Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, that's the reason why. All right, so uh, let's um, let's try it from over here. Out of the way. We'll make a couple more ladders, and we should be able to get ourselves up. Uh, that should be right. I don't think zombies will attack me from here. Ooh, this is actually not bad. Okay, what are we... Oh! And I've just worked out a way in. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, I think I might be making um, home for now, I guess, because I don't think anyone will be able to get me, which is a good thing, so I might make a couple of these. Let's just make four for now. And then that way we can um, dump a few things in here. Okay, so let's just dump that and that and that. Perfect. Alright, so anything food wise, I'm just going to sort of drop into here seedlings, things like that. Ooh, whoop. Grab you and pop you guys into there. So at least this way, I'll keep the bones in there. Actually, 80 bones, not bad. So that is a good shout right there. And then um, I might make this all the bits and pieces here. Um, okay, pop all this in here. The land claim block, that's not going to happen. Um, this, I should probably sit it down there. And I think I might make the raw materials over here. So I've got the pine cones specifically for a reason, so hopefully that'll um you know sort of help itself as well at the same time i guess but um i'm gonna i'm gonna keep the empty jars with me just in case if i find some sort of like water supply or anything like that so that will happen um and then the rotting flesh i'll probably just end up throwing that into here i think um okay and i'll keep the there we go and i'll keep the um the lock picks with me just in case if i find something all right, cool. So let's um, let's uh, move our way in to the shamway. Got my wood there, so I should be right here. Um, all right, cool. So we've got a few zombies coming through now. All right, guys. I feel like this should be like some sort of priority, you know, as soon as you get your food and all that, th um, all that s and the rest of it sorted, you should be okay. And then it's just a matter of, um, you know, where you sort of point your attention next. I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot of like bookshelves and things like that for us to learn certain things as well. And that'll definitely help out the cause as well at the same time. But I just don't know exactly where I'm going to um, invest you know, my time and effort into other things as well at the same time. Uh, let's just take that while he's making his way over. Um, oh, we've got a couple of you guys, and plus you've got vending machines. So if we find Casino Dukes, we should be able to use the vending machines as well, which is um, awesome. And I'm not too sure if they actually respawn or re-loot after 10 days. That I have no idea about. So that's going to be an interesting thing that we're going to have to sort of find out and work out for ourselves as well. Um, oh damn, this needs repairs. All right, so let's quickly run out and there we go. And I really should invest poss possibly into, I don't know what I'm going to do, whether I do spears or will I um, do Pummel Pete again. Um, I feel like I, I really want to do Pummel Pete because I think that's going to sort of help me out. Um, especially in this type of Let's Play, so that's what I'm thinking about that, but we'll see how we go with that. Um, Alright, how am I doing here? So far so good. All right, let's just take out this crawler. Alright, and you see all these um, all these little um, rows and things like that? You can actually um, scrap those for iron as well, so you can break it down. But I won't be doing that until I get a, um, a proper axe, or sorry, pickaxe. So that would be for that specifically. And then that way I can start, you know, doing iron smelting it for, you know, um, uh, forged iron and 
you know, uh, forge steel eventually if I end up finding like a crucible or getting the ability to whoop, make the crucible. Hey, settle down you. Thank you. Yeah, so that is where I'm thinking with that, but what I might do is, um, can I loot? You can't even loot anything here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, you should be able to... No, you can't. Okay, so that's 3,000. Nice. Okay, cool. So i got some pretty decent things here, which is good. Um, honestly, there's really not a lot to loot out of this place. You would have thought like a Shamway would have had a whole bunch of things here. A whole bunch of food for me to loot and things like that. And there is nothing. Um, okay. Alright. So this is it. We're going to have to um, work our way through. Um, oh, okay. We've got coffee, which is awesome. So things like cabinets, <laughs> that is not going to help me whatsoever. It's literally not going to do anything for me. I thought about actually if I find like if I end up getting the components for like a mini bike or even out of a bicycle, at least I can sort of you know move about quickly if I'm at you know on one end of the the complex and have to get back home you know just in case of things like um, horde night and things like that. I'm you know, thinking about those sort of sort of things and hopefully we can um, you know uh, create some interesting content in that respect there. But um, what I might have to do is I might have to um, quickly, I guess, loot this area um, and I might actually end it here for today because I think we spent a decent amount of time and hopefully I've given you guys enough context into what I'm actually sort of trying to achieve here um, and basically if we can survive in this, I mean this would be a, a really really fun and cool series. So um, look. Shout out goes to the guys that created this, um, well not the, just the H&M but also the Eden Ball as well. Um, they've outdone themselves, they've done a really 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 good job, it's very very well detailed and there is a decent amount of things that you can definitely loot in here and get your hands on certain things as well at the same time. So, um, oh god, okay, before we go, um, let's just loot up this and then we'll um we'll go to the next video from here after so what i'm going to end up doing oh you know the the money is not going to be um the money's not going to be worth it anything to me but i'll tell you what's going to what's what's going to sort of help the cause here if i do that and then i go into something like this here and then just leave that basically here this tells me that i can um uh, sorry, this will allow me. Oh, nice! I'll grab the pants. Um, this will allow me to reset, or have the loot reset from day ten onwards, um, which is awesome. So, I'm going to definitely do that for all of this as well, because this is where you're going to find yourself some pretty decent loot, especially once you get things like Lucky Looter um, updated. Ooh, that might be the reason I might go into spheres. Maybe I don't know. But I'm going to have to find some spear parts and things like that. Ooh, okay. Alright, we got some pretty decent stuff here at the start. Uh, right, at, right at the get-go. Day one. Oh. Oh. Are you serious? You know, I've been looking for this in my regular Let's Play for so long. And I get the schematic for it on day one of this series. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Um, okay. Um, take five less damage. Okay, ten more when you're indoor, and I've got that. Oh my god, this is, this is ridiculous. All right, look, I'm not going to bore you guys. Oh, there's more to do down there. Okay, um, I'm not going to be able to open that that up. That's for sure. I mean, I could try my luck. I know I've got four lock picks. If I get if I get this open on the first go, oh my god, what a day! But oh, all right, um. Alright, we'll do this. This is going to be the last thing for today, and then I'm, I'm, <laughs> we'll I know I, I called it a little while back, but as soon as I saw this room, I got excited. So, <laughs> um, you can imagine my... Um, I couldn't hold my containment with that. So, oh my god, we got this opened. What do we get? Oh my god. <laughs> um, guys, I think we're going to be okay in this Let's Play. I think I'm going to be okay in this Let's Play. This is ridiculous. Um... 
the my other underlining concern is a lot of these things would require uh, require sorry um, repair kits, and I'm going to have to sort that out. Oh my god! Okay, I think I think we're good, guys. I think we're actually good. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here today. I'm going to fix this up on my end here and um, put everything away and where it should be, and um, we're going to move on and we'll go on to the next video i'm going to be doing this back to back so look guys if you are going to stick around please consider subscribing hitting the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos of this let's play series um, i'm calling it stay within um, and you know the name says itself but guys if you enjoyed it please like the video share it if you can that'd be great and comment down below let me know what you think about it let me know if you're going to be doing something similar to this um, i want to hear your thoughts Anyway guys, I'm going to get out of here and I shall catch you next time.